Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be finally a full face using only Fenty Beauty makeup products. I'm so excited about this. I know that this is very long overdue. I apologize, I was waiting for my order to get through because I ended up placing another order on Sephora's website recently. There was a little bit of a delay with it, but we're here, we're ready to go. I have everything that I could find for a full face. And I'm very excited because I can honestly say that Fenty is my favorite high-end makeup brand. I feel like it's just such great quality. I feel very luxurious every time I use Fenty probably because you know Rihanna is such a queen but I just love this brand and this video is not sponsored by the way they do send me PR which I'm so so grateful for but I also do purchase a lot of other things myself because obviously I love the brand I believe in it and there are some things that I have tried that weren't my favorite but I'm gonna retest them out today and I'm also gonna be testing out some things that I've never tried before but overall with the brand I do have more hits than misses which is always great but yeah I hope that this is helpful if you guys are looking into splurging soon and that's all I have to say, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to grab a snack, and let's get started with the one brand look. All right, guys, so obviously I have my brows done already because Fenty doesn't have any brow products, but I know that if they did, they would kill it in the brow department, hopefully in the future. But I'm gonna start off with priming my lids. I don't remember if I used this or not, so I decided to recently repurchase it during the Sephora VIB sale. So this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. This one is in Invisa Pink. So apparently with this, you're not supposed to set your lid so I'm just going to apply this and then jump right into the eyeshadow if you guys have been watching me you know that I've been so into eyeshadow primers I just feel like they have been making such a difference with my eyeshadows just makes it last longer and just I feel like they pop a little bit more with eye primer versus just using concealer so I really really been loving it I'm just gonna blend this out using a big fluffy brush from elf you guys know I'm gonna use some of the Fenty makeup tools but not really I've tried Fenty's eye brushes and face brushes and some of them I like, some of them I'm, I'm like, eh, they're not my favorite. For eyeshadows today, I'm gonna go in with the Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette. The packaging on this is absolutely beautiful. I love Fenty's packaging, I always rave about it. It's so just sleek and perfect. I'm gonna start off with this super light peachy shade right here. It kinda has a little bit of like a pink undertone. I believe it's called Quicksand. The shades are on the back. I'm just gonna run that right in the crease. It's my neutral blending color. Showing up, this palette has a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of people love it, I feel like, and a lot of people are like, eh. And then there's some people that like absolutely hate this palette. So I don't know, we'll see. So far, this color right first impression it's really really nice i like the pinky undertones i feel like it's a really really pretty transition color and really nice for like spring and summer so i'm just gonna buff that right in there i don't really know what kind of look i'm gonna do today but we're gonna we're gonna just go with it and see what happens i don't usually plan my eyeshadow looks out because every time i plan them they just they never turn out well so i'm gonna jump into this shade over here which is like a nice soft brown peachy color i'm gonna take that right on the outer crease of my eye i'm using a sigma e25 blending brush i'm just gonna go back into the first blending brush and kind of blend those edges out I'm gonna go into this shade down here, which is like a really deep red brown color. I'm actually gonna use that same brush. I'm just gonna take a washcloth. I get these washcloths like at Walmart, or even like Dollar General, you can find them. I'm just like spot cleaning the brush a little bit and then dipping into that color. And I'm gonna start building that color up right on the crease and sort of on the lid as well. Then all over the lid, I'm gonna go in with this color right here, which I believe is called Spice Trip. I'm gonna use my favorite Anastasia number 18 brush. I'm gonna start by not spraying my brush just to see how pigmented the color is just like without any spray. Okay, wow, it's actually showing up. It's like a really deep, like charcoaly color. I'm just gonna pack that on just right in the lid area. 
I'm gonna actually spray my brush. This more than anything has like a sheen. It's not gonna be like shimmery or anything. It's just like a super, super light, dark sheen. I like this color. I love dark smoky looks like this. I feel like they're very sultry. And this shade is like nice, it's building up nicely. So far I'm not having any issues with the palette. I'm gonna take a different clean white hair brush. This one is from my favorite Amazon brush set, which I will link down below. I'm gonna go into this color right here, which is like a really beautiful bright reddish coral shade. I'm gonna, ooh, that is really pigmented. I'm gonna top off the excess and I'm gonna kind of run that right in the crease as well. I want the crease to be very warm. So I'm gonna kind of place that there first and then I'm gonna blend it out. Then with the first blending brush, which this is the Beauty by Rosita blending brush, I'm just gonna take this and run that right in the crease. There is some fallout as you can see, but I feel like that's the case with probably 95% of the eyeshadow palettes in my collection, drugstore and high-end. I also really like Anastasia's eyeshadows and there's a ton of fallout with those. So it's not really a big deal breaker for me, but I know for some people, especially with high-end palettes, it really bothers them, but you know, it doesn't for me personally, especially because I do my face makeup after the eyes. I feel like that's a huge help with things like this because then you can just wipe it away with a wipe and then you know you're good to go. Okay, so I just applied my eye tapes from e.l.f. which you guys know are my fave. So I'm gonna do some winged liner today. I'm gonna go in with my, I'm gonna try not to say Fenty after every product in here because unless stated otherwise, everything is Fenty. So this is the fly liner. This is the long wear liquid eyeliner and this one is in the shade Cuz I'm Black which is just a black liner. It's like a really nice pen which honestly I prefer regular liquid liners but I feel like these work better if you are a beginner or if you struggle with winged liner which to be honest sometimes I do because I don't do my winged liner as much as I used to like back in the day when I was in high school I used to do it like every day but I'm gonna do a pretty dramatic wing because I feel like with this look it's much needed I don't remember if I used this before to be honest yeah I don't remember I might have super easy to apply which is nice the eye tapes are never like totally even for me I always have to like fix them and they never turn out perfect that's just my luck, but we don't do perfect on this channel, but we do make it work. Okay, so I did go ahead and pop on some lashes. I will leave the ones that I used down below if you're interested. So one thing that Fenty doesn't have is a primer water spray or a setting spray, but honestly, I can see them coming out with like a like life proof, sweat proof setting spray or primer water spray. That would be amazing. Fenty, we need a spray from you guys. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox Primer Water. I believe this one was limited edition, but it's like honestly the same exact thing as like the regular primer water, it's just coconut. So for primer today, I'm gonna go in with the Pro Filter Soft Matte Instant Retouch Primer. I absolutely love this. It's so pretty. Like it just makes your skin look really pretty. It's hydrating. It's just, it's really, really fresh on the skin and it just makes your makeup go on super, super smooth. I've been actually using this with different foundations and I feel like all of my foundations go on really, really beautifully, but especially with the Fenty foundation, like that combo is really, really nice. So. I absolutely love this and I like how I can use this all year round in the summer, in the winter. It's a very nice universal primer. Then for foundation, this product I've actually used before. This was one of the first things that I ever purchased from Fenty when they first launched. So this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I have mine in the shade 240. At the moment, this is a really good shade for me. This foundation brings me back to my senior year of college in the fall. This was my go-to for going out because it looks so good when you take photos in flash. It lasts all night. It's just very, very beautiful. It is matte, but it's not drying. It's really just the bomb diggity and it also has really great coverage, which I'm all about. I'm gonna actually use the Fenty sponge. I haven't used this in a little while. I just repurchased it because I've just been so obsessed with my Wen Wild and Elf sponges, but for the sake of the video, I'm like, let me use this again because it's actually a really nice sponge. It's very bouncy and it is nice, you know? I just, you know, the Wet n Wild one is also really good and it's like $5. It just blends beautifully. Like the foundation, you see how like literally this gives you like, I feel like like a filter on your face. Like it's just that good. Just evens everything out. 
and I, I love it. It's one of my favorite high-end foundations. I did about a pump, pump and a half, but I'm gonna do about another half pump from forehead and my nose. Um, can we just talk about how smooth that looks on the skin? Like it's crazy. Um, yeah. Absolutely amazing foundation. I think if there's one thing you're gonna get from everything that I talk about, I would definitely recommend the foundation. It's literally like a filter in a bottle and I'm here for it. By the way, don't mind my crusty nose. It was doing really bad at one point, then it healed, then it got bad again, and now it's healing and it's just like crusty and I know I shouldn't put makeup on it, but I don't want you guys looking at it without makeup and then it's gonna look really awkward if I don't because then, you know, anyways, just don't mind it. Please. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. I did like a full first impressions on this when it first launched, and I really, really actually like this. I haven't been using it, so we'll see. I'm gonna kind of retest it out again. I've only used it a couple times, and that was back in January. We're in May, so it's been a while. So I'm actually gonna go in with the shade 235. The foundations and the concealers actually match like the numbers, so if you want a really natural look, you can obviously get the same shade as your foundation. If you want something a little bit lighter, you can go down a shade or two. I'm gonna go in with this because I'm not really into that super light look anymore. I used to like it, but now I'm just into like the really natural concealer look. I mean, obviously there's nothing natural about this look, but you know what I'm saying. From what I can remember, this is creamy. It is a more matte concealer, but the Fenty products aren't overly matte. I have combo skin, and I do get dry patches around my mouth, around my nose, and I don't ever remember these products clinging onto those and just looking really, really nasty on the skin. The coverage is nice. Now that I've tried so many other full coverage concealers since then, I don't feel like this is super, super full coverage right off the bat. I definitely like the coverage of the foundation more than the concealer, but it is a nice concealer. As you can see, it's very, very creamy, which is good. I'm all about a creamy formula. I feel like this is really good medium coverage, so I'm gonna build it up a little bit more because I feel like I need full coverage, especially for this super dramatic look that I have going on, so I'm gonna do some more concealer. Obviously, this is personal preference. Yeah, so medium to buildable coverage, which is nice because not everybody likes full coverage, and sometimes I forget that. Like, I'm like, oh, I love full coverage, but some people like that minimal coverage or like that medium natural coverage. Then I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite translucent powders because it is a little bit more brightening, but it's not excessively white under the eyes, which I just mentioned I'm not a fan of. So I like that brightening look, but I want it to be as natural as possible. So this is the Pro Filter Banana Powder. I really like this shade because I feel like it's not like straight up yellow under my eyes, but it could also work if you are a little bit darker as well. So it is very, very nice. And they have a bunch of shades in these as well. And they do have a lighter translucent one, I'm pretty sure, but I like the banana one. So with that same sponge, I'm just gonna take this and set underneath my eyes. And on the areas where I did apply the concealer, so pretty much my T-zone. And this also does have a very light set to it, which I do like. And one of my favorite things about the Fenty complexion products is that they look really, really beautiful in pictures. I have a new favorite, which you guys will hear about in my May favorites. This is their new Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer, and this one is in Shady Biz. This is my perfect bronzer shade. It is not too muddy, it's not too dark, it's not too light, it's literally perfection, and this formula is so smooth and creamy on the cheeks. I've been loving it for like that natural bronzy contour look, which you guys know I'm all about. I'm gonna really just like bronze my skin first. I love it so much. I'm also gonna be taking this and dragging it down my chest as well. I've been loving that. Then I'm gonna go in with my Fenty 195 bronzer brush. I'm gonna take this to kind of chisel out my cheeks just a little bit. This kind of fits perfectly right in this area, but it's not gonna to be too harsh. A little bit more right here. It's a really, really nice contour brush.
Okay, so another product that Fenty doesn't have, unfortunately, are blushes. So when I was in Sephora, I decided to just purchase one of their Kilowatt highlighters and just use one of the brighter shades as a blush. So this is their Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Duo. And the two shades in here are Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. So obviously, I'm going to go in with the really light orange color, which is called Mimosa Sunrise. The other one is way too dark for my skin tone. I feel like this would be really, really beautiful on my deeper, darker delicious skin tones. I'm just gonna very lightly dip in here, tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna apply this right to the apples of my cheeks. That's so pretty, do you see that? It's really, really light. Just gives like a really light flush. I love colors like this. I always go for like peachy, bronzy toned blushes because I feel like they're perfect for every day no matter what look you're doing. That's gorgeous. I don't know if you can really see it but you get like a really light wash of color i'm gonna just dip very lightly in the dark shade that's very pretty and very doable so you just be very light-handed and it can work. Then for highlighter today, I do wanna mention and give a huge shout out to Trophy Wife Highlighter. This is probably one of my all time favorites because it's so unique, it's so pretty, it is very, very intense. So obviously be very light handed with it. If you are my shade or even lighter, you can make this work, but just be very, very light with it. Like I barely dip my brush anytime I use this. So probably gonna use this today just because I love it so much. But in the meantime, I am gonna go in with something a little bit lighter, more wearable for this look today. So this is another kilowatt highlighter and this one is an afternoon snack and mo money so i'm gonna go in with the shade mo money and which is like a really light oh frosty so pretty ideally this is actually better if you have tanner darker skin tones because it is a little dark for me at the moment but again we're gonna make it work we are just gonna go with it you can see it is doable but just be careful with the shade because it is a little bit like not, I don't wanna say dark, but you can see like the rose gold undertone in it on your skin. So if you're lighter than me, this probably wouldn't work for you, but it is really pretty. I feel like their kilowatt highlighters are a little bit more subtle versus their single highlighters, like Trophy Wife is very intense. So I've tried a kilowatt highlighter from them before. It's like a lighter one. I don't remember what it's called, but I wasn't a fan of it. But this one right here is actually a lot prettier than that one. So I do prefer this shade. I'm gonna top this off a little bit with Trophy Wife. I'm literally going to tap so lightly in here. This in pictures is like another level, like so, so nice. Ooh, do you see that? It's literally like, oh, it's just such a good highlighter. I love it so much. All right, so let's finish up these lower lashes. Jumping back into the same Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette, of course. I'm gonna be taking the red color right here. I'm gonna pop that on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the white shade right here. It's like a really pretty sparkly white. I'm gonna pop that in the inner corners and brow bone. Oh, that is so pretty. I love me a good inner corner highlight like this. Like this is gorgeous. So this is one of those shades where it's actually not super stark white. It looks white in the pan, but when you actually apply it, it has like a pinky, like lavender undertone. It's really, really pretty. I just realized that I forgot to cream bronze slash contour. I usually don't do that step unless I'm like really tan in the summer. That's why I forgot, honestly. I meant to use the Fenty Matchstick today. I actually repurchased this because I used it before and I wasn't a fan of it. But I heard that these work best when you apply it with a brush and then to your skin versus just directly onto your skin, but I totally forgot. So I apologize, but I will keep using this or I'll use it like in an upcoming video and I'll let you guys know about it. But yeah, I have heard actually really good things about it. I think it just depends on how you use the product, etc. But I got the shade Mocha, so I will save this for next time. And then I also meant to talk about a powder earlier. This is their Universal Invisimat Blotting Powder. This is my favorite blotting powder. I usually always have this in my purse. I took it out specifically for this video because it is just so good. I think this is essential in the summer time because if you're ever super oily all you have to do is literally blot the area and then go in with this with a really tiny little brush and it will literally just make your makeup look like you just did it again so it's not gonna add any coverage it's not gonna take away any makeup on your face when you apply this it's just literally gonna make your skin look so smooth and porcelain it doesn't give you a white cast it's great so I love this and honestly I'm surprised I've never hit pan on this I got this like over a year and a half ago but it's still going strong it says on here that the expiration is 12 months but you know I still use it I don't have any 
any issues. So, you know, it's good. I love it. Okay, now we can do the chest and the lips. So, I actually am gonna start off with a lip liner. They don't have any lip liners, which sucks because I know if they did, they would be so good. So I'm gonna just use my ColourPop lip pencil. This one is in the shade BFF. I'm actually gonna top this off with their Stunna lip paint. This one is in Unbutton. I love these. I actually just used this yesterday for the first time and I was so impressed with the longevity of this and how it wears. I think this is beautiful. You do have to be careful with how much you apply though because it can bleed. I definitely recommend lining your lips beforehand, but this shade is like my perfect peachy nude and I actually have all of the colors and I have tried some of the darker shades and I will say you only need one layer because if not, it's not gonna look great. So with one layer, you're good to go. But if you do one layer, they are gonna last so well. And you know, a lot of dark colors are really hard to make when it comes to liquid lipsticks, but these are just on another level. I mean, yesterday I was eating, drinking, it was hot, it was gross out, but I had this on and it lasted all day. So I'm very, very impressed with these. And also their lipstick in the shade Single is one of my favorite like peachy orangey tone lipsticks. These are really creamy. When I first purchased these, they had really bad reviews online. I don't think that these are drying at all. I think it's one of the creamiest matte lipsticks that I own in my collection and really, really nice. And I love them and they have a bunch of different shades as well. So I think these are great. So I wanted to give that an honorable mention, but yeah, I'm gonna go in with the shade Unbutton. Let's talk about Fenty Gloss Bombs. Yeah, no, I definitely take my statement back from earlier when I said if you're gonna get one thing, get the foundation. You definitely are gonna have to get the lip products too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but they're just, oh my gosh. These are my favorite lip glosses of all time. I have yet to find a gloss that compares to this. I've repurchased these. They are everything you need in a gloss and more. They smell good. They have three shades here. The first shade that I have is Diamond Milk, which is just like a clear gloss. These don't really have a lot of color to them, just like a really light wash of color when you apply it. Diamond Milk is a really great topper for nudes. I feel like all of these work, honestly, with any nudes, any pink, any orangey tones, anything. You can even wear these on their own with just lip liner, with no lip liner, and they look good. Amazing. The other shade that I have is Fussy. It's like a really, really light pink. This is beautiful. I'm probably gonna go in with this one today. And then the OG one, this is actually the first one that I ever used and I've been in love ever since. This one is in Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb and this was just like the universal one that I feel like looks good literally on everybody. Oh, it's just not sticky. I'm actually running low on this but it's not sticky. It's just creamy and it just makes your lips look wet like glass like so so pretty. It honestly smells like fruit punch kind of like an alcoholic beverage which I'm not mad about it. So I'm gonna set my makeup really quick. I'm gonna just use my Skin Denavia Makeup Finishing Spray. So while that dries, we're gonna work on the chest. So I talked about this in my last favorites video, but these are amazing. The body lavas are so beautiful. I've been loving these lately, especially on the weekends. If like Hector and I are going out, I just feel so glowy and so pretty. Every time I wear this, it's just, it's so good. And the packaging is really nice. It's like really nice glass. I just, I love these. I know that these are pricey, but this is definitely worth it in my opinion. I mean, I'm obsessed. So the shade Who Needs Clothes is my current favorite shade. I feel like it just works really well with my skin tone. Honestly, this would look really good with any skin tone, but I, I just love it right now at the moment for me. And Trophy Wife is also really pretty. I cannot wait to wear this in the summer. And I am gonna use their 160 Face and Body Brush. I've personally never tried this with a different brush but I like this because I feel like it does apply the product really nicely and you can see it just makes everything look ugh, delicious. When you are outside taking pictures or just like, I don't know, date night, girls night, this is a must. A little bit of this does go a long way. Also, you do not need a lot. Oh, it's so pretty. One more thing that I wanted to mention is their Diamond Balm. So this is pretty much just like an all over like glitter for your body. So I talked about this in my vlog. I don't know if it's up by the time you go see this video, but you guys will see it soon. I did like a mini Sephora haul because I purchased a couple items right before the sale ended. This is actually broken, but I still want to use it because I can't, I can't help myself. So came broken. I mean, it's still good. Honestly, I can still use it to be honest, but yeah, it just looks so, so pretty. I'm going to put this all over my body. Not that I really need any more of a glow, but I, you know, I'm extra. I'm going to just use a brush actually just to dust this 
on the chest. Wow, that's so pretty. Wow, I feel like it's also sticking better because I did apply that body lava. I was going to return this, but honestly, I'm probably not going to because it's still good. I can still use it. Oh my God. It's very, very intense. I can imagine like when I'm actually outside, I'm probably like glowing to like the gods, but this is gorgeous. All right, guys, so that is it. That completes this full face using only Fenty. I really hope you enjoyed it. All in all, I love this brand. As I mentioned to you guys, I feel like the products are great and I'm super impressed with pretty much everything that I tried, to be honest. I really loved everything, to be honest. I know that this eyeshadow palette was pretty much one of the only new things that I tried. I like it. I mean, I know that it had a lot of like mixed reviews, but I'm super impressed with it. I think the look is really pretty. Do I think this is something that you absolutely need to have in your life? Absolutely not. The colors in here aren't really like anything different. There's a lot of shades like this already on the market. I have so many eyeshadow palettes right here that remind me of this, like not the exact color scheme, but certain colors in here. So all in all, I do think this is a nice palette. It's good quality. I mean, I was able to create this really smoky look, which I do love, but I don't think that it's an absolute necessity, especially for the price point. I believe this is like $60. So I would probably pass on this to be honest, not because it's a bad palette, but just because I feel like there's already so many things on the market right now that I personally would rather you guys spend $60, let's say on the body lava foundation or lip products versus another neutral eyeshadow palette. I will say Fenty kills it when it comes to their lip products, like I mentioned, and their complexion products. I am so blown away by how beautiful and flawless and soft the skin looks. Like it's literally just so smooth. Foundation is definitely my favorite along with the primer. The concealer is nice. I like how it's buildable coverage. Is it like my absolute holy grail concealer? No, I'm still loving my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Concealer, but it is really nice for what it's worth. If I had to choose one highlight product to put on my face, I would definitely go with Trophy Wife. I just feel like the glow is just on another level. It's my favorite. It's so pretty on the skin. It exceeds my expectations versus the kilowatt highlights where I feel like they're a little bit more like light on the skin, more natural. If I want something a little bit more natural on my face, I'm honestly going to just go for a drugstore highlighter, but that's just me personally. But the kilowatt highlighters, they're not bad. And I actually really did like this duo right here. I mean, this is so pretty on the cheeks. You can see it actually gave me a really nice wash of color. So I'm very, very impressed with this. The eye primer was really nice. I didn't have any issues with it. And then this diamond bomb, I mean, this is literally the bomb. This looks so pretty. I mean, if you're going out or maybe like, I don't know, just something special event, this is freaking gorgeous. I cannot wait to keep using that in the summer because I really do feel like it's such a unique product and it looks so good. All in all, I'm very impressed with the majority of these products. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you've tried any of these. What are your favorites from Fenty? I would love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for everything. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a thumbs up and that is it. Thanks for everything. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Bye.